Good morning. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. It is... Uh-oh, what's going to pop up here? I'm going to try to do this video real fast before I have to go to work. It's August 10th, 2017. And I had a dream from the Lord last night. And I'm going to start out by saying... Um, If you are squirmish about um, uh, certain things, like, I don't know, maybe it's a PG-13 or a rated R uh, video, <laughs> I don't know. But um, I'm talking about death in here, and uh, it's a really serious warning of the things that, of the thing I've seen in my dream. So if, don't let your kids be around this video as you're watching it. Um, and so that's my warning you could probably imagine. Okay. So I wrote it down, and I'm going to try to do the best that I could do. Lord Jesus, please help me. So um, more I entitled it Mora Lears and the Kids. Okay. Um, so I was in my dream, I was walking with these three, I think three or four kids, I can't remember, in a forest. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think I've had enough coffee to, to do this. Hold on. Um, I'm not sure if I was invisible or not. There were two boys and I believe a girl one boy seemed a little more, uh, to me, a little weirder than the others. Um, we or they were talking. I mean, there was some conversation going on, like some questions being asked. But um, when I started waking up and trying to go through everything that had just happened in my dream, a lot of things faded away. But I believe that the main part the Lord wants me to know, um, I remembered. So... We were talking, or they were talking, walking over brush logs, and we were headed somewhere. I seemed to have left the scene because next I walked into a cave and rounded a corner. Next scene. The scene was the older boy had hung. Okay, this the next scene was the older boy uh, had hung the <clears throat> the other boy by a rope. He was hanging from the the top of the cave. And I think there was another boy next to him, but that boy had already died. I stood there and took in the scene, and my stomach dropped. I became very ill. After zooming in onto one boy's face, I seen his eyes open, and he was almost dead. He took a gasp of air and shut his eyes. I immediately somehow got up there and lifted his body up and started to untie the noose. Uh, as I turned back to the other boy, okay, I forgot this. I didn't write it down. I turned back as I was doing this. I turned back and looked down at the boy who had did this. And he was, like, darker skinned. Like, I perceived he was, you guys, I'm not racist or anything, but he was is Muslim or Islam. And <clears throat> the look in his eye, because my face zoomed onto his face, my eyes zoomed into his face, the look on his face was pure delight. It was... Like he had been standing there watching this boy take his last gasp of breath, his last gulps of air. And the look on his face was delight. Um, like he was getting off on it or something. 
like he he just loved it and and it was and his eyes looked like uh I can't even explain it. I it was I was just just sick. Okay. <clears throat> so uh, okay, so I started to untie the noose. I was lifting his body up to take the weight off of his neck. As I did this, I struggled with this for a while. As I did this, his body turned into a loaf of bread. And the noose was like undoing, uh, helping to untie the top of a loaf of bread from a rope. Like the plastic part, when you tie it like in a knot, some people don't use the twisties, they just tie it in a knot, and then it was attached to the rope. Um, as soon as it was undone, I got down and took off after this kid. I chased him out a side entrance of the cave onto a sandy beach. By the <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I don't have a lot of time. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, I chased him out a side entrance of the cave onto a sandy beach by the ocean. We were in a cave on the beach. As I ran out, there was a sheriff beach patrol, or like a police officer, parked there. The sheriff had his door open and was standing there leaning against the seat and bending into the cab watching a little TV screen or a laptop with news on it. He was very intent on watching this. I screamed, this kid is a murderer. I chased him through the sand and the sheriff yelled, his mother is Mo Moira Lears, L-E-I-R-S. She has been murdering, uh, oh, she has been murdering all week. Then I perceived that he had seen his mother murdering and snapped. <clears throat> like, um, like he was, before all this happened, he was with his mother and he seen his mother just going on a slaughter and he snapped. Like she was just Moira Lear. She was a serial killer. <clears throat> okay, so, and the dream en ended. And I woke up with... Jim Morrison, come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night on fire. Um, and I wrote this down here. Uh, the time to hesitate is through. No time to wallow in the mire. Try now we can only lose and our love become a funeral pyre. Come on, baby, light my fire. Try to set the night on fire. A pyre is a heap of combustible material, especially one for burning a corpse or a dead body. Okay, the definition of Moira, Moira or Moira, Moira Lears, I wrote at the top. Okay, so there's a county of Moira, Victoria, Australia. Uh, Moira, New South Wales. Moira, an English village. Moira, Ontario, Canada. Moira, like Lect. Uh, Leicester Shire English Village and Moira a Moira furnace a 19th cent century iron making blast furnace there's a Moira in Ireland Mediterranean Greece New York India and Alaska and also there is an asteroid named Moira it's called 638 Moira. <clears throat> um, oh. So when I was waking up, I said, Lord, are we talking about, it was weird, uh, kind of in between, you know, when I'm trying to speak with the Lord about confirmation. And I said, Lord, if this is um, talking about if this is talking about Australia, uh, could you just confirm with me? And uh, a sister, Natani, um, she texted me, like, bef before I even woke up, she texted me and was telling me about a lady that had a prayer group going on. Um, uh, she has a YouTube 
and she lives in Australia. <laughs> and she started a prayer group and was telling me about it and asking me, you know, if you want to join, here's the link and all that. And I said, there's my confirmation. It's talking about Australia. And I was blown away. So I texted her and I started to tell her about it. And she was kind of helping me uh, find definitions for this stuff. And so <clears throat> I'm going to focus on the Australia because when I looked this up on the map, there's New South Wales that were okay. If you have been following any of my videos here a few months back, the Lord, um, gave me a name and it was Adelheid, 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 Australia. And you can see that Adelheid is right here to the left of where the marker is, where Moira's at, Southern Australia. Something's going on, going to happen here, you guys. <clears throat> I believe um, because the, they are connected to Britain and in the dream, the uh, mother, it was talking about the mother. He had seen his mother going on a killing spree and her name is Moira Lears. And, uh, Okay, so there's more to it. So we know, I'm, I know that, and I have also done warning, the Lord's given me warning dreams about Ireland, the Mediterranean. The um, Remember I found the Mediterranean goddess and she had that crescent moon on her that represents Islam. There's one in New York. I've, many people, including myself, have given um, warnings the Lord has showed them about New York and uh, Manasseh, Manasseh right there and upper um, Virginia um, India at first I thought was it India because the the kid was was dark I thought is it India or is it Islam like Muslim I, I don't know but and then I'm not sure about Alaska I know Alaska's been having some um, clusters of um, uh, earthquakes there but and then the asteroid named Moira <clears throat> <clears throat> and then I heard that song by Jim Morrison, Come on, Baby, Light My Fire. So the definition of Moira is wished for child, anglicized form of Maria, derived from the Hebrew Miriam, sea of sorrow, bitterness. That's what it means in Hebrew. Rebellion, mistress of the sea, Greek. Uh, means fate, de uh, share, destiny. And Irish, Irish, it, it's like Mary, M-A-I-R-E with the asterisk over the top. <coughs> okay, so then I seen 647. So I looked up the number 647 in Strong's Concordance. It means bill of divorcement. Bill of divorcement. That scripture is talking about. If you put her away, give her a bill of divorcement. So I believe that. Okay, let me keep going before I kind of sum this up. Um, definition of leers. A person or thing that lies, as in amp, not like a liar. <clears throat> A person or thing that, that lies or lays as an ambush or waiting. A Middle English form of layer or chamber. An anagram for liars. Clay, a camp. German, in German, it means lager, a camp, which means a camp. Bearing, as in a mechanical device like bearings. A store or deposit. Um, so you guys, in my dream, the little boy was like Muslim or I should say Islam. He represented Islam, I believe. And the other boy that was hanging, he turned into a loaf of bread 
And when I was trying to get him down, it was like I was trying to untie a bread loaf, not from a rope. And um, uh, I just believe that um, with, uh, with all the stuff, the political things that are going on in the world right now, that the Lord is just sick and tired of being snuffed out. People um, idolizing other gods. Um, they're trying to cut his word out all over the world. And especially over in these other places and other countries, um, <clears throat> Islam is taking over and the Lord is, has had enough. He's going to cut that down and, um, he's going to give them, they were a wished for child and now he's going to give them a bill of divorcement. And, uh, this is, uh, a warning dream, um, to them over there, uh, to all of us, the people, you know, we need to stay in prayer. Um, the definition of Lear's is ambush and waiting, a chamber, a lair. And I was in a cave and he was hanging this, this kid in a cave. And, uh, I don't know, I'm just thinking, um, War is going to start out over there. It's going to be all bad. And especially with the asteroid named Moira. And usually when the Lord shows me something in a dream or gives me a name, this name has multiple um, meanings. And I think Adelaide right here, Adelaide, um, is one of the bulls to be poured out. It's a bowl that's going to be poured out that it talks about in Revelation. Sorry, guys. Um, <clears throat> the Lord's wrath is going to be unleashed um, on these people that are um, perverting his, his word and, uh, worshiping false gods and putting the Lord on the back burner. And in this dream, I think he's given us some insight about what's going on. Yeah. My goodness. Okay. So I want to show you too. There is also Moira Kelly. Caring for children, inspiring people. She is an international humanitarian and global peacemaker. And uh, she is in Australia. In Melbourne. Let's see. She's been running around working in soup kitchens in Johannesburg. In Romanian orphanages, orphanages, refugee camps in Bosnia, Albania. Uh, I don't know. She's a Australian. Uh, and she's pretty big. I'll show you a picture of her. Here she is with the queen. Queen Elizabeth, and she met with the Queen Elizabeth and Duke of Edinburgh, and here she is, running around doing all her work. So, <clears throat> is there something else here too? Maps, crumbs. There was a word the Lord showed me too, like apostate, apostasy, something like that. I can't remember, but so, uh, yeah, when I seen that it was Southern Australia and it was right next to Adelaide, I, uh, I knew the Lord's trying to do a confirmation that this stuff is coming. War is coming. People, people are going to be, um, 
betraying these these army superpowers uh countries they're going to be teaming up with each other and then they're going to betray each other and it's going to happen to america too they're going to say oh we'll help you out we'll we'll be your ally and then they're going to bite them in the neck and they're going to they're going to uh, uh turn on them and uh wage war against them not everything is how it appears and uh, the tribulation's about to begin. We have this eclipse coming. And uh, it's going to get all bad, you guys. So anyway, if you have any thoughts or comments, go ahead and comment. And uh, I'm praying for all the brothers and sisters that are in Australia and Britain and uh, the Mediterranean, Ireland, all the brothers and sisters that are there for their safety. And uh, I love you guys. And I hope you have a beautiful day. In Jesus' name, amen.